to talk a little bit more about that as well as the bank closures. We have Congressman Jerry Carl in the studio this afternoon. Thank you for joining us today, My Congressman. Pleasure. And as we just heard, um, talking about the Pritchard Water System, um, they've reached out to your office and talk a little bit about, we, we've seen the feds move in in Flint, Michigan in their crisis. We saw the feds move in in Jackson, Mississippi. Could the feds pull in, you know, here and help out the situation? Well, or literally, you know? this is the first time I've heard that, that the mayor has reached out to, to the state and to the, to the feds. That's good. That's where we need to go with this. We've got to, we've got to move fast. We've got to help the, the city where we can. We've got to figure out what we can do. It's, it's not something that we normally deal with very often, so I can't be the expert. But the fact he's reaching out, we will get on it as quick as we possibly can. See what we can do to help. Gotcha. Yeah, hopefully some help for those oh, yeah, residents we'll, we'll, out there. We'll figure out a way to make it work. Okay. We will. And touching on the, the bank collapse that we saw last Friday and another one over the weekend, um, this is the largest, uh, SVB was the largest collapse mm -hmm. since 2008. Um, are we seeing a similar environment now, but that, or is this situation different? We had a phone call last night with all the senators, congressmen, and all the government agencies on the same phone call. SVB, if I can say it correctly, that was a really a high risk bank in that they really grew tremendously during COVID. They loaned out a lot of money to high risk uh, startup companies and they really got overloaded. So when the, when the reserve did come to them, tell them they had to sell some of it off, they had an auction and no one was interested in buying long-term uh, funds right now. So that's the reason they're in the situation they're in now. I don't think it's, it, it applies to most of the banks that we have here. I, I just don't see it. I don't think we're gonna see a run on the bank. Yes, the stock market's gonna bounce up and down and, and people are going to get excited, but uh, give it a couple of days and one more crisis in Washington, D.C., and they will change the conversation to something totally different. And so since this is a different situation, we're not thinking this could happen to other banks potentially? No, anything's possible, but no. Uh, it, to my knowledge, uh, most banks have got some very rigid uh, guidelines they have to follow. Both of these banks did not. Again, they did all their growth during COVID. If you think during COVID, no one did any face-to-face -face visits. Everything was done online. So there's a lot of questions to be answered. I think one of the hardest questions I, I, I've got right now is why the bonuses? Why would you pay bonuses knowing you're gonna close up or you're about to be closed up? I think that's wrong, very wrong. And so folks right now at home may be thinking, okay, well, should I run out to my bank? Should I make a change? Should I well, do I, something else? I don't give around? financial advice, that's not my job. But but I, I'm, in, I'm in a situation that, that that if I thought that way, I would go move my money, but I'm not moving my money. I'm, I'm good with what, and it's gonna take a couple of days for it to settle down, but I, I would suggest my personal opinion, I'm just, my wife and I, we've already talked about it, we're just gonna follow our schedule the way we have had it set up before this. Because again, both of these banks, from what I've been able to research, were really, really, uh, they're, they're got this woke mentality about them, and they were loaning out money based on uh, guidelines that most of the banks around here don't use. Uh, you know, it was raised on, it was, money was based on race, gender, uh, environmental issues. I mean, all these things that are in this woke culture, both these banks did, and you see where it's gotten us. All righty, and hopefully we won't see any more, and hopefully it'll, oh, I, I, it'll be stable. We certainly hope so, out. yeah. And, and we, we need to learn from it. We need to figure out what we as federal agency have done to miss it. We should have caught it earlier. All right. Thank you so much, Congressman. We appreciate you joining us with us today.